Hello everyone, Splicer here, and today I'm going to give you some tips on sniping and how to improve your sniping capabilities and skill. Um, and the most, the fundamental part of that is learning the sweet spot to the individual rifle that you've chosen to use. So what I'm going to do is I'll break down each individual rifle, um, I'll give you the distances of sweet spots um, and how to identify and work out the distance from yourself to the target. Um, but first things first, I'm quickly going to run through your loadout as a, as a scout. So Tripwire bombs are extremely important. Um, if you're going to be set up in a place for a little while, get a tripwire bomb out because it's going to protect you from behind and it's going to stop you looking like these guys. Hello. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> as well as a tripwire bomb, make sure you've got the flare gun as well, um, as this is a great tool of identifying targets in a, in a wider area and also assist the team uh, in a more team based map. Anyway, sweet spots. Let me break down each individual, individual rifle for you. So, if we move on to the Gwur 98. Uh, obviously, excuse the pronunciation, but both the infantry, sniper, and marksman version variants um, all have 100% kill damage at a certain distance. So, for the marksman and the sniper, well, in fact, for all the three of them, that distance is 80 meters up until 130, 125 meters. Um, so, 80 to 125 meters is your 100% kill mark. However, you have to hit them in the main body, yeah, so torso and obviously head you're always going to get 100% damage anyway. Um, but yeah, that's the area you want to be aiming for. It is very, very specific, so if you hit them in the shoulder, in the arm, it's not going to give you that maximum damage. Um, same for the SM SMLE Mark III Infantry, uh, Carbine and Marksman. It gives you 100% kill damage at 40 meters. Uh, up until 75 meters, so 40 to 75 meters. So quite a close range weapon. Um, again, it's just learning these these distances and getting it spot on for the rifle that you want to choose. Uh, Martini Henry, obviously a, a great weapon. Uh, the 100% kill distance is from 50 meters up until 80 meters. So you've got quite, you've got a 30 meter gap there, where if somebody falls up in there and you hit him in the torso or the head. Or hit them in the torso, they're going to go down in one shot, which is what we want. Same as the M1, uh, M1903 sniper, 100% uh, kill damage, and that'll be from 100 meters up into 150 meters. So it gives you the biggest range of one shot kill, so 50 meters worth, um, at a, and at a greater distance to a lot of the other rifles. Um, it's the same as the uh, M1903 marksman, which does it again from. 100 meters up to 150. So same thing. Uh, moving on to the last one then is your Russian 1895 infantry and sniper variants. So from the range of 60 meters up until 100, uh, it gives you 100% kill damage. So a good 40 meter gap or area to aim for. Um, and again, not the longest of ranges. Obviously, we've got other snipers that go further but depending on, I'll put up the list in a minute and I'll, I'll leave the um, this is courtesy of sympathic.com I'll leave the link in the description so you can get on there yourself um, but just look at the weapon that you choose and you like to use the most and understanding that distance and that sweet spot area will improve your sniping tenfold because you're going to be taking people out in one shot um, best way for this and the best way well the best way to start out before you then identify and learn it from from playing the game and, and just getting in amongst it um, is using the conquest markers and anytime you look at it, it will give you how many how many meters it is away so get yourselves within that sweet spot at distance observe what it looks like through the scope observe what it looks like um, without looking through the scope see what the size of people are see what the size of buildings are, that sort of thing, tanks so it will give you an idea of that sweet spot distance that you'll be looking for when you don't have one of those markers to aid you. Equally so, when you're playing Conquest or Rush or any sort of sort of checkpoint-based map, 
you're going to have a lot of enemy around that area anyway. So you could spit, you could literally just hold up, look at the, the checkpoint, see that you're in, let's say, the 90 meter sweet spot area, um, and then just fire away one shot kills. Obviously, making sure you're going for the, for the body. Like I said to you earlier, and as you've seen for a lot of these these shots, they're not all getting one shot kills, but that's because it's very very specific. It has to be the torso uh, of the enemy. If it hits the shoulder, if it hits the arm, anywhere else apart from obviously the head, you're not going to get that 100% damage. But torso, head, that's the way you want to go. So breaking down each individual rifle into range of sweet spots. So your SMLE Mark III, both in, well, infantry, carbine and marksman, um, and the Martini Henry are all your close range sweet spots. Um, and then moving on to the, the Russian 1895 variants and the Gura uh, variants. They're your mid-range to long range. Uh, and then your M1903 sniper and uh, marksman. They are the ones um, that are going to give you the maximum distance for the sweet spot and the, the, the widest range of 50 meters of uh, that sweet spot area. So again, depending on how your, your play style, depending on whether you, you're sort of clearing, clearing compounds and things with a, with a rifle, uh, you're going to want to get those that Martini Henry or those sort of close range sweet spot weapons um, as opposed to if you want to be a, a long range scout, getting those long range ki kills across the map. Uh, the M 1903 Marksman or Sniper variant are the ones for you. So yeah, not a massively long video, not massively, well, a little bit in depth, but just understanding that sweet spot will bring your sniping game miles. So understand it, get your head around what weapon you want to use, work out the distances, take a look at the, the charts, um, just to clarify the distances, and then, yeah, start taking people out. But. I've been Splicer, thanks for listening to my video, um, and I'll see you in the next one.